Hello and welcome to another lesson in our Microsoft Excel for beginners. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create data entry form in Microsoft Excel without using VBA, that is Visual Basic for Application. Okay. Now, basically, this VBA, which is Visual Basic for Application, is a programming language that is used to what? Automate stuff in Microsoft Excel products. Okay. So it's a programming language we need to learn to be able to use it but here lies the case we are beginners and then we have no knowledge on that so how do we do do it the other way around or how do we and we want to maybe create a form to enter data into our sheets and um, using a form we don't want to enter the data raw just like that so and here lies the case we don't also know a vba programming language so how do we do that we can create a user form or data entry form without the vba so let's quickly see how that happens now first of all let's just check something here supposing i have a data range here like this let's say uh, maybe a serial number maybe i have this here name sorry we have here class okay and we have a date of birth or dob put it that way so and then we are to enter data here the serial name here and the name here for the student and um, abdullah yakubu or whatever then the class is two, then the date of birth is, and then you enter all that. Now, you can imagine you can do that manually by just entering the data that is asked of you to do here. But what if you want to sort the data? What if you want to search something from the data? What if you want to update? There are certain things you would, some functionalities you would want to do with, with, with the data here. You can't just do them raw like that. You need a form to be able to do that. To make everything look very simple for you that is why we need the data entry form let's see how the form works so now we've created the form here without single dba macros okay so to click here and then launch the form so if i want to enter a new data set so you can see the fifth person here is what gaussian tier i'll just go to new and then i'll add another one that is sixth person here and i'll press the tab to move me to the next set and i'll add maybe maybe john um okay yeah john then i'll tab and then mensa and i'll tab over again gender is male and i'll tab over, sorry i mistakenly press the enter key so you see that the moment i press the enter key it has just added john and then uh, john mensa male i should have added this by mistakenly press the enter if i want to add another data set i'll just add it from here which is seven persons here okay then we be musa and then yaya and then gender is male and then date of birth is 12 10 2000 tab over and the classes maybe um, b4 so once you are done with that you just click on new and this one will be added and then the form is ready to take another input here so let's see how we can create a very simple form you can use this to enter any data of your choice that you created the table for okay so let's see how we can do that let's close the form here and close this one okay and save we're going to start everything from the clean slate okay so to start with you need to open a microsoft excel for short you can just right click on the desktop and you go to new and you just choose excel from here just choose it. i'll just give you the name maybe data okay so i'll just press the enter key twice to launch it okay so now first thing first i need my column headings here to define my table okay so maybe i want to take the students uh, serial number first so sn and then the next one i want to take their first name first name and last name then gender then dates of uh birth and then class okay perfect so once i'm done with that i will just go ahead and then maybe increase the column the, the width of the columns like this then uh, gender can be male or female okay in the class here perfect okay i think everything is good now with the date range okay let's just select something like this here and then try to format it appropriately the way we want it if you would want to give all the fonts times new roman so you just choose i don't know why i'm just rushing right so when you choose that you can just click this and then locate times new romance here okay times new romance 
I was, I was just about to type it. You can call it type it here. So times. Once you begin typing times, it pops up. You press enter. And there you go. So after that, we would want to format the date format. So you select the date column like this. You go to general. Then you choose uh, maybe short date here or oh, yeah, something like that. So that is okay for you. Now the next thing is for me, I already have this uh, form button here. So since you might not be having it, so how do we add it? You click on this drop down arrow and go for more commands. Okay. And you click on this and choose commands not in the ribbon. And you choose that. Then you scroll here and locate the form, but the form command here. Uh, form, form, form. Okay. I mean, I've already added it here. So let me see if I still get it here. Okay. You can see. So you just select it and then you click on add. When you click on this, it will be added here for me. I already have it here. So once you are done, you click on OK, and you should have the form uh, um, button here, okay, which you can have access here. So once you click on OK, you should have it at the top here. So once you are done with that, we can try entering. Let's just decrease this with here small. So let's enter some sample data like one year, two here. Perfect. So the first name is uh, maybe Puma, and then the last name is John. Then the gender is male, okay. This sample data date of death 10th 06 9 sorry 1987. And the class is P2 P2. Then we try another one, maybe um Karim and then Hasana gender female and then date of birth 12 09. Uh, 1990. Perfect. So we are done with that as well. Then the class, let's say B3. Okay. So now we are done. So the next thing we are going to do is to convert this into a table. Okay. We're just going to convert this into a table. Now we can format this to make it look okay. Just select this and then we would want to maybe center it. You can format it the way you want if you like. Okay. So the next thing we would want to convert this into a table. Now there are two ways of doing that. Either we use the shortcut key, which is what? Control T for short to create the table like this. You just make sure you select any of the range, any of the cells within the range here, either here or here, not outside here, just inside here. Then control T. And then once you can see that it's that selected the range here. Once we click on OK, this will be converted into a table. You see, it has just converted it into a table. Or the other way around, when you select this. Then you go to format as table then you choose the table design you want maybe you would want this design so once you do that you click on okay so you have the same design here with the table here so now you are done creating your simple and amazing form you have your heading serial number here let me just include it serial number here first name here last name here gender here date of birth and then the class if you want more you can add and follow the same steps and get the table up and running right simple so how do we launch our form now to enter more data? To enter your form, sorry, to launch your form, if you click here, we can launch our form from here. That is why we just added it here for quick access. We call this quick access toolbar, okay? So when you click here and you try launching the form, you get this error. So to launch the form, click inside any of the cells in the data, either here or here. It should be within the data set. And you click this and then there you go with your form, okay? And then the first data already in the form. So you can just click on new to add another set of data. So the third person is here. Then you, pre you press tab, the tab key, then you move to the next cell to enter the data. To tab again, next cell, tab again, next cell, and that order. You can use the tab key to do that. So the third person is what? Uh, Bukari. Let's put it that way. Bukari. That is the first name. And tab. Then the last name is Rashida. Then you tab. Then the gender is what? email then you tab then the date of birth is what 10 10 2006 then you tab then the class is what maybe p6 then after that you click on new so this will be added perfect you can see how nice it looks and perfect and easy so we can add let's add the last person then we see other functionalities of our form and then we'll be good to go so the fourth person is here for then uh, the name is, uh, let's say, Sule, the first name, tab, the last name is Yaya, 
tab, gender is male, tab. Then the date of birth, date of birth 12, 12, 2009. And then we tab, then the class is P5, okay? Now once again, once we are done, we click on new, then that is also added, easy and perfect. So now, let's see the other functionalities of the form. Let's close it and relaunch it again. Click inside here and just launch your form. So now, let's I want to, this is the first record. I want to move to the next record, the second person. I will just go to next. You can see Karim, next, then next, and then four out of four. You can see from here. If you want to come back, come back from here, come back from here, come back from here. Let's say the name, we want to see how we can do use the update functionality. Let's say the name Kuma John is actually not Kuma John, it's Kuma Johnson. So it means there's need to be update. So you click inside here and add Johnson, S-O-N. So once you are done with that, you just press enter. So you can see it has just updated Kuma John to what Johnson. That is how we update. Simple as that. How do we search? So let's close this and then launch again. Launch the form from here. So let's say you want to search for, let's say, um, all those in P2. Okay, all those in P2. So we can use P2, the class, as a criteria for search. So we click on this, then here we type P2. Okay. So once you are done typing with the P2, you press enter, then you get the one in P2. That is Kuma Johnson. He is the only one in P2. You can see only one out of four. So even if you should move to next, you wouldn't get any. Come to previous, you wouldn't get any. So now, let's see. Um, let's try to add another again. Let me see. We can get easily get. We can equally set using other criteria again. Okay. Sometimes when you are trying to do multiple things at the same time it doesn't work so i prefer you closing it and then relaunch it again and then relaunch it again so now i would want to use a different criteria for search supposing i would want to search all the males we have okay so i'll use the male the gender as a criteria so i'll click on criteria then i'll come here and i'll just type male perfect so once i press enter i have the first male who is on number four and that is what Suleyaya. then i'll go to next okay it's, so let me just come back to the, uh, the previous. The first person here is also what? Kuma Johnson, also what? Male. So we have them only two. If I should go to previous, there is none. If I should go to next, there is uh, then the second person. So we have only two who are males. You can equally use the name as a criteria, either the first name or last name as a criteria for search. So once you type in something like that, you press enter, and then you have that perfectly, and then up and running. You can add more data and try manipulating things the way you want we see how the update functionality works suppose we want to delete the last person here so suppose we want to delete someone let's say we want to delete um let's say kuma johnson and that is the first person right so let's launch our form then we search p2 okay so that is that kuma johnson is already so we want to delete they're asking you i don't want to do this okay so it is done deleting kuma johnson kuma johnson is gone we have karim hasana Bukari Rashida and then Sule Yaya. So Kuma Johnson is gone. So basically, that is how we create a user form in MX Excel without single VBA macros. It's as simple as anything can be simple. You can add a lot of headings here and go ahead and create your form with ease, without any problem, without any stress. Now with the sheets here, you can see here is named sheet one. Why don't we just name it as what? My student, okay, something like that. My student okay so perfect so we click here to launch our form so we have the name here change to what my student and then that is that so perfect we are done with everything and close the form and then you try it by yourself and then you enter more data you try to manipulate it the way you want so thank you so much for watching we are done with this lesson until our next lesson so thank you very much for watching and then bye for now